Hello beautiful people, my name is Naila, your host for the Art of Living show. Welcome to yet another wonderful Art of Living episode. We are in Gong area and I'm just enjoying this beautiful, captivating views and breathtaking air. I just want to linger here for days. Our guest today is our powerhouse in filmmaking and production. She is a PhD holder and a lecturer at KCA along with accolades in storytelling and filmmaking. She is none other than Dr. Zippy Akold. She invites us to her home to have a look around and to have a conversation. Let's discover, explore and engage. Guys, I want to get pregnant today. Now. You know, once women hit the age of 40, it becomes increasingly difficult to conceive. We're a big any man when you're a bed up. I love you, but I'm easy to say. I'm not going to be a bad guy. I'm not going to be a bad guy. I'm not He might just decide to marry you and you'll live happily ever after. You get to enjoy these views. Let's linger here for some time. Just for a moment, for our viewers to just to get to see exactly why yeah. you are such a one an award to get to understand why you are an award winning filmmaker. Because if you wake up to this every there's morning, motivation. There's motivation. Yeah, thank you. Like really? Yeah. You yeah. discover this place? I discovered this place. I fell in love with the Masai. Oh ah, my god! I hope he's inside the house. No! <laughs> he's not there, but I say that I mean. I'm sticking he's here. He's Ole who? <laughs> <laughs> Please he must tell us. <laughs> he's Ole. He's Ole. 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 <laughs> Ole. Uh, we, we, we must find out. Okay? Oh, you will know, you'll know. We'll know. One day you'll know. One day we'll One know. Day you'll know. Okay, girl, yes. you're leaving it up. No, we try. Yeah? Yes. This is a beautiful place. Yes. Oh, amazing. Yes, How you. did you discover this place? I mean, of course, you followed your man. Yes. Oh, let's. Oh, let's. We get it. This is uh, why he brought you. Uh, no, no, no. He didn't bring me here. He but is, I decided uh, yeah. I am staying here, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> you are making the choice. Yeah, I mean, anyway, I I, I lived in Gong for like around five, some time. Mm -hmm. then, and I've lived in Kitakela before, yeah. Pekarot before. So I yeah. think uh, since 2018, I've been in Gong and thought, I think I love this place. The way it's cold and sometimes sunny. Yeah. So in 2020, I decided I am going to get land no matter what. Yes. Uh, by the you know the way like i do vision boards okay. so in 2020 i said my vision board was to get land COVID happened and all that yes. then i think around 15th yes. of december yes. i said ah, it was my daughter's birthday yes. like god the year is ending and i've not gotten my plot of land from yes. my vision board this is yes. not yet ticked yes. i started looking for land matasa but when i reached this place yeah. uh, the lady was taking me around she was stopping here to pick some things 
and then she was to take me far ahead in a nice flat ground. I told her, eh, eh, that Wait is the one minute. I want. This place yeah. was so rocky uh -huh. that even her selling to me, she was like, that place is so rocky. Uh, people don't like it because of rocks. I told her, I love these rocks. Oh, wow. And look at what the rocks have done. This is, this is all from, these oh rocks my on my wall goodness. are from down here. It saved you a dying. Yes, yes. It cost me a dying to, to remove them. <laughs> but, it did. Uh, but uh, uh -huh. it saved me because now I didn't need hardcore. I used to this, but mm. now my whole fence is, it was a lot of rocks, a lot of big, big rocks. Unbelievable. Yeah. That was very bold. Yeah, we try. Yeah. yeah. My goodness. <laughs> How long have you lived here? Uh, moved in uh, first of May 2022. Okay, so you've been here for about maybe three years. Yeah, now two. Two two years. Two years, yeah. Okay. Actually, it's a few weeks to exactly two years. Okay. Yes. So what? What? Okay. Other than the views, what else did you love about the place? Mm, it's on top of a cliff. My father in Homer Bay has built on top of a cliff, so I think okay. I'm used to being in the raised places. Yes. <laughs> there's something about that. Yeah, there's something about that. I mean, Just really looking at The wind at... is crazy sometimes, but yeah. the fact that no one else will be higher than me in this place is kind of like... And also it yeah. allows you to think. It I can allows see you everything. To, yeah, to have yeah. a vision and yeah. to yeah. say, you know... Exactly. Um, I can rise above everything. Yeah, true. true right? True, yes. At the back of your mind. <laughs> does that make sense? It does. Uh, in a lot of ways. Yeah. In a lot of ways. I can rise above many things. Yes. Rise above now I believe I can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We yeah, lived well, here for yeah. six months without a fence. Okay. Without a gate. Okay. And uh, it was safe. Me and my girls, half built house without a fence, without a gate. I used to come and drive and park right in front of the door. And look around and you hear a hyena ding. Yeah, and then you get into the house very fast. Oh my god, no watchmen? No, no watchmen. <laughs> I mean, watchmen for what? Oh, even uh, quite a number of my neighbors didn't have a fence, and we were we were like around five of us. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. That is incredible. Yes, yeah. I can't wait to go in. Please, Karibu Dani. Is this <laughs> yours and Ole This is mine. <laughs> So you are a country girl, huh? Yeah, I'm a country girl. I grew up in Homer Bay all my life. Okay, look yes. at this beautiful... Oh my God! Oh yes! <laughs> Acts of Living viewers, <laughs> come and see this! Isn't this uh, the most beautiful... I think my, my, my hands uh, are good with succulents. I got one gift from my daughter's grandma. Yeah? And uh, anytime it sprouts, I keep planting. So I have like this one, you know, a number of the succulents. Here is another gift. Thank you for another succulent. <laughs> Oh yes, please. But this oh. one, I love this one. I got it just two months ago, and I don't know. I think uh, it's, it's just rotted. Yeah, so I think I'll get more of it. It's so beautiful yeah. when you have some tomatoes there. Those ones we just keep throwing. Where yeah. it grows, it grows. It grows. <laughs> Where it dies, it dies. Yes, and at some point you won't have to buy tomatoes. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've I've not bought vegetables for a while, like the whole of last year. The advantage of living in the countryside, yes. right? Yeah. This time I planted some more. You'll see them. Yeah. I'm convinced. I'm a home banker without a man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope by the time we're done with this interview, you'll have a home. Caribbean <laughs> Daddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, Dr. Zippy. <laughs> This is this is where you come and hide, mm -hmm. and all your creative juices just flow. No wonder mm -hmm. you are an award-winning filmmaker. Thank God. You <laughs> know? I like the taste of each and every piece in your space. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the aesthetics, about the look and feel of the place. I don't know. I think uh, one. I love bright colors. Okay. I love yellow. Yes. I don't know. We yeah. come from the lake, the sun, the sunset. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, people don't like associating with the yellow, but sometimes I pretend I don't like yellow, but I find you find yourself just picking yellow. Yes, yeah. like this lounge chase here. Yeah. I like yeah. it. A lot. <laughs> this is where you sit and read. Yeah, in the afternoons when you're tired, yeah. you sit there and pretend you're watching TV, and in 20 minutes you've dozed off. So. Yeah. <laughs> You just come and jump here and doze off. Yeah. It's pretty. Where did you get it from? I love it. Mm, uh, there's a local carpenter around. Okay. Uh, around Ngong. He's the one who made it and okay. uh, I decided, let me have that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so your home has been a journey, even before we talk about the pieces. Yeah. Just building this house. What vision did you have? You mentioned you had a vision board. Yeah. 
Did it end up how you envisioned it in the beginning? Uh, the budget didn't end up as I envisioned. <laughs> The budget didn't end up. So, uh, pesa or tax? Pesa, pesa, the, the, pesa. It, was, it was too expensive. Like that's why it's not yet even complete. Uh, but um, I, I, I drew something and my sister is a construction manager. She's an architect construction manager. Yeah. And I told her I want this. The way the dimensions are given in my head, she says your budget will never fit that. So let's You're lucky your sister is an architect. Yeah, she said, What is your budget? I told her she's like <laughs> <laughs> the kind of drawings you made cannot even fit on one eighth. So okay. we squeeze it, squeeze it until what could fit my budget. Because okay. she was the one doing for me BQ. Alright. And then um I started slowly slowly. Yeah. Uh so got the land here. Yes. And then now How much did it cost you? Uh that time it was around one point two. Okay. Yeah, per, per plot. Right. Yes. How, so, many, how big is the area? Uh, the, the, this the, one is quarter. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. So this is quarter. So this is Had you plots. saved up or you had to? I paid slowly, slowly. Okay. Yes. That's you know, the, the, I always tell people when I plan, I don't plan because this is what the money have. Yeah. So when I came to look for this land, I had 150,000. What? Yes. So I told the lady, I'm going for Christmas. This is the only one I have, so we signed a contract and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I told her, give me time, mm -hmm. I will finish it. Then mm -hmm. luckily enough, mm -hmm. the Kajedo County processing took longer, it took like six months, seven months. Yeah. Ah, so it gave me time to pay uh, slowly. slowly. Yes. That is a very good tip for people who would yeah. like to own land yes. and to build homes. Yeah. Sometimes it just takes that bold step. Yes. With the little that you have. Yeah. Back home, if you have that little money, it's a step of faith yes. to just put in by faith. Yes. Exactly what you Utamaliza did. Kulipa. Utamaliza kulipa. Yes. <laughs> and look at this. Yeah, then we started constructing. I took a loan from my circle because I was like, at least let me let me start it in such a way that I can see movement. Because foundation can make you feel like you're pumping money into nothing. Yeah. So I took some loan from my circle. I am at University circle. Yeah. And then I started building, building. Slowly. Yes, slowly by slowly. Then yeah. when it was halfway done, yeah. I brought my, I told my kids and they were like, we are moving there, no compound, no fence, no nothing. And you made progress step by step. Step by step, yeah. So right now we've only been upstairs for like three months. Okay. But um, we hope uh, now with time, now we'll start doing decoration, finish yeah. there the tiling yes. we like we're not tiled here yes. better painting we've not yes. painted here this is just uh under coat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. it's such an inspiration story because the money that you'd have been paying rent yeah you pumped into the space yeah the money that you've been, pay been paying rent you pump into the space but yeah. also yes I think when you have a plan, God makes creates other means of income. All right. So like uh, you'll get somebody calling you for some job for one week, consultancy yes. here yes. and there, and yes. it just pumps in yes. a little, a little, a little. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it just amazing, guys? Um, and such an inspiration for someone like you. You already own. How big is the house? How many rooms is it? Uh, four bedroom. Four bedroom house. Yes. Um, you didn't have money from onset. You yeah. only had one hundred and fifty. Yeah, that is the one. You had a vision board. Yes. I think for me, it's such a big learning, and for our viewers who plan to own a home one day, yeah. that it just begins with that step. I think I've said that before. And even just you pump in money, you move in when you can. Yes. Even if it's not complete. Even if it's not complete, just yeah. moving. Because yeah. I, I asked myself, what is the worst that can happen? Yes. Because I think for us, the first thing was like, uh, moving there into that wilderness, you yes. got a fence and you have children. Yes. And there was hyena. Okay, there are still hyenas. Yes. And baboons. Yes. They still come sometimes. Yeah. And you're like... <laughs> The, it was risky. And you, you are brave. having girls. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. What I mean... But yeah. look at your yeah. home now. Thank it's you. complete. <laughs> And <laughs> it looks so, so amazing. That's so let's talk about the design and the layout of your space. Yeah. Um, it's an ongoing process, yeah. but I, this, it has character. Yeah, one thing is uh, my living room. Yeah. Uh, there are two spaces that I was very sure I needed big. Like my living room, I needed it big. Yes. And my kitchen, I also needed it big because uh, I love hosting. I love hosting people to a fault. Like when... It's kind of like when I'm having business, I get some adrenaline from it. 
<laughs> we saw it this morning, man, and she hosted us. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. So I am always like, I want, I want a big space yes. where when I have visitors, even 50 or 100. Like when I have my daughter's birthday, I think I always plan for 50 people come like 100. Like, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you love people. And I'm always cooking like that day. I'll cook a lot. Like wow. and anyone will always care. So I, I said, I want a very big living room. Yes. Yeah, and a big kitchen because yes. for me, I think that's the heart and soul of the home. Of soul, yes. Yeah, because this is where I want to sit with my children, we yes. talk and all that kind of stuff. Yes. We watch a movie together. Yes. I am not for TV in the bedroom, so okay. we either watch TV here yes. or just go to your bedroom and stay on your phone. But TV, I eat a cocoa bedroom. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, so, so. You sit here with your family, you yes. watch TV when yes. you can. Yes. I see you also do a lot of reading as well. Yeah, yeah, I do. I don't know if I, I read kids, a lot nowadays. But do your kids read? My kids read. Uh, their, their bookshelf is on the other side. Okay. <laughs> so this is entirely mine. Yeah. And a few booklets, but that is also there. Okay. Like, I think the lower shelf right. and mine are on the upper shelf. I, I don't know whether I like reading, but when I buy a book, I'll read it then. Yes. I keep it there. Okay. Mm, I, I realize Kenyans, they borrow books, they don't return. True. So I said, I am not lending anyone Any, a, a book. book. If you want to read the book, read it here. Speaking of which, yes. you're an author. Yes. Talk to me about your book. Yeah, my book, Upzipi. Yes. Uh, I did it in 2019. Okay. Uh, and it's about my, uh, my marriage life and yes. divorce and all yes. that. And, yes. uh, and so I decided, let me uh, first do it into a place. So I did a play in 2018, yeah. and then I turned it into a book. Because we're like, people are like, do it again. But for me, it is one of those plays that are not, are not easy to do again, because yeah. uh, it's about your personal life. So it's like therapy, it's like reliving that moment again. Yeah. So it was a one-woman show. So I decided to put it into a book. Okay. But beyond that, I've done other one-woman shows about my personal life. Yeah. Mama's made about me and my mother, Zanzi yeah. Madness, my trip to Zanzibar, side yeah. chick wife. Yeah. So there are a lot of, um, I think uh, for me it's always therapy, yeah. but um, I like it when people come and tell me that's like my story, yeah. deeply identify with that story. Yeah. You've just spoken about somebody I know. So for me that always like, really makes me feel like I think we need to tell these stories more. Yeah. Yes. You're not afraid of sharing your personal story. Why is that? Mm, because you, you're uh, not afraid of being vulnerable. I mean, there's something about you. <laughs> I've watched your. Sh I mean, some of the shows that you've done before yeah. the books. Yeah. You, you, you're very open to being vulnerable. Uh, Why is I that? wasn't like that. Uh -huh. But then it reaches a point. Then you realize people will still stigmatize you no matter what. So sometimes it's just better to tell the story because whether you, you tell the story or not, someone else will tell it for you, and they'll tell the wrong story. Agreed. It's better to own your own story. So it's my story. You like it or not, that's it. And the people will tell you, oh, what is side of the story? I'm like, go ask him. He's alive. He's somewhere. Yeah. And uh, for me, it, it heals to tell your story. Uh, but also, uh, as, a, as a person, I think I didn't look at it. When I was doing that play and doing this story, I didn't think that it would impact people the way it has. Uh, for me, I was just telling my story. Mm -hmm. But after that, the kind of response I got from people, people coming to tell me how it has impacted them, it changed their lives. Then people, because my story, there's a part about marriage, the violent, abusive marriage. Then there's a the part about divorce. And I do not, I do not flower divorce. I tell people, it's hard. It's hard. It's, mm -hmm. it's death. It's, it's, mm -hmm. divorce is not easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like when you see us walking like this, man, it's over 10 years ago. Yeah. Like since it takes, a, it takes a, a lot. So mm. the people who read it and I, some people call me and I tell them, I think stay. That's is it. it. Yes. The people call me and I tell them, I don't think it is that bad. Really? Yes. I tell them, take a break. Go to your shags for a month. Are you serious? Relax. Yes. There are people I tell, I don't think. And there are people who call me and I tell them, leave now before you die. Okay. Yeah. So it depends. So it's not... It's not every time people to live. I mean, I love marriage. I grew up in a happy family. <laughs> happy family. And I mean, I will get married again 10 times if I have to. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, but there's things that you, there is a threshold. There are boundaries. Yeah. There are boundaries. I'm like, yeah, people will talk about those oh, standards too high and stuff. No, no, no. The standards were never that high. And we realized, where did it take us? So right now, we just value ourselves more. 
we know what we've gone through. We want better. And I think we deserve better. Do you yeah. think mm. you had a, 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 a part to play in your divorce? I think when somebody starts doing things you don't like from the very beginning, it's either you stop it or end it there. Okay. Yes. Because so the flags people. are always there, but you keep ignoring, hoping somebody will get better, or maybe it was just a sleep. As I actually said, it's not a slip of the tongue, like it just happened, maybe it's an accident. No, no, no. That's a person that they are. Yeah, that's a person that they are. So either stop it there, don't tolerate it, leave, or, you know, correct it at the very beginning. Okay. Yeah. I think they've yes. learned. Um, <laughs> Our viewers, if you're in a bad marriage now, yeah. Dr. Zippy has advised you, you know, mm -hmm. it's either you stop it. Either you stop it from, the, address it, actually, the thing is, address, address it, it from the very beginning. Address it from the beginning. And yes. I think it's important for And if, if the person really cares, then yeah. they can change. change. Yeah. But you see, if you wait for long without addressing at the very beginning, mm. the person might think like you're used to that behavior. And it's okay. And it's okay. So as part of your healing, mm -hmm. uh, I believe there are things that you have to do dramatically and yeah. change about yourself. Yeah. What are those things that you changed about yourself? Uh, I, I, I don't know whether I've been a workaholic or I became a workaholic. <laughs> yeah, but now I started creating more because those are things that stopped for the sake of that marriage. Yeah. So I started creating more. Yes, creating more content, like writing, uh, writing the play, the scripts, producing, doing, doing theater shows, directing. Like I went back to who I felt this is me that I had already given up. Yes. So I went back. I, I remember we, in 2013 when we were celebrating Kenya at 50, mm -hmm. we did a musical with Kenya University. Mm -hmm. It was called Julieta, uh, using songs from the 60s up to that time, 2013. That must have been beautiful. Oh, it was so beautiful. Uh, then, uh, what is it called? You know, it's called Kibara. The CEO in TV he came to watch it at the amphitheater in KU, and he loved it. That time we had done a three-day run in an amphitheater that hosts 3,000 people, and it took us to the National Theatre the following uh, a month. He said it has to be at the National Theatre so that others may see. So we had another run at the National Theatre. Yeah. And um, yeah, and in, in terms of your character as a person, yeah, did that change you as a person in terms of your character? Yes, you're very jovial. As it a made me feel like I can do this. Okay, I can do this. You know, you could be creating, yeah. but then there's that one show that changes your life, that affirmation yeah. that this is it. Like Zippy, you are meant for this. You know, for somebody to just believe in your work and say we have to take this for the world to see for me that really changed my life it made me feel like i am created for this <laughs> i love it i'm ready for the red carpet oh. yeah. reporting from nairobi kenya all public gatherings and events have officially been cancelled this is with the increasing number of infections and deaths and the way we had invested a lot of money in this film that's why we have to go on, guys, okay? Keep posting on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and everywhere. And you go to every estate and distribute these flyers. In fact, get some people to distribute them door to door. Okay, guys, we can't stop now. How are you feeling today? I don't know. I keep thinking about it. And what are your thoughts? I feel it. I don't know what to do right now. We planned everything right. This was going to be my debut feature film. We planned a grand red carpet. We, we wanted it to be the very best. And just two weeks before the premiere, everything crashed before my eyes. I feel like I'm living a nightmare right now. I I don't know what to do.
Yeah. Can you define to me the aesthetics behind your space, mm -hmm. the, the seats? Um, and yeah. Was this your choice? Yeah, this is my choice. I've had these seats for the longest time. Yeah, they can tell a story. <laughs> they can tell a story. Okay. Uh, when I moved out, I didn't have seats for like around uh, a year and a half. Okay. So around June uh, 2014, yeah, yeah, we got boom. You know, lecturers, we had been going on strike so that we had added salary. Yeah. Then there were arrears. So when I was given that arrears, I said, the first thing I'm going to buy are seats. So there's a place uh, on uh, Thicker Road. Mm -hmm. They were selling seats and all that. I bought these seats 10 years ago. Okay. It's, I think it was called Faith Works. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, these chairs yeah. have not let me down 10 years later. Yes, they're beautiful. <laughs> they actually look ready-made uh, Yeah, chairs. and they're still soft. Uh, yeah. The, how do you call it? Uh, the cushions. The cushions have never like died. Yes. Yeah, so yes. I think uh, I, so I don't see them. I've, I've passed there again some time. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know whether they closed or the something. The velvet feel. Yeah. Is... And I've not changed anything. This or this for the last ten years. This was a good buy. Yes. This so, was a really like, good buy. And the colors. Thanks to that boom. Yes. <laughs> And thanks to them, they, yeah. I think they made good furniture. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Let's talk about your art pieces. Yeah, my art pieces, that is from uh, Martin Musioka, he okay. is at Karen Village. Okay. I don't know whether he liked my legs or what, but... Uh... Oh, hey, <laughs> tell us, tell us, tell and us. And he said, Zippy, yeah. these legs could be yours. Oh, <laughs> he wow. does good paintings, though. Mm -hmm. He's the same one who's done that one for that chalk painting okay. for my daughter. All right. So this one will be paid. <laughs> but that's one he gifted I me. I like it a yeah. lot. And then that one is from Clinton Kihima. Clinton was one of my first students at Kenyatta University. Okay. He's now doing his PhD in uh, film and theater arts also. I and see the yellow. Touch he, of yellow. He had never come here. Okay. And so he made for me that. And I was okay. Like, I've forgotten the name of the bird, but it, it reflected something like about me, like uh, how persistent I am. Yeah. So when I brought it here and I took a photo of him, I told him, you didn't know that I have yellow and yes. look at what it has done. And, and it, yes. it, it goes very well with your curtains. Exactly. Yes. Talk to me about the choice of your curtains as well, because yeah. it, it complements your seats. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I had the seats before. So yeah. when I went to get the curtains and yeah. I was not, I didn't think I could afford other seats. Yes. They let me get curtains. <laughs> that complement the seats because I can easily change curtains <laughs> but uh, anyway yeah. so yeah I decided to go with the yellow because I, I always feel uh, as someone who loves hosting yes I feel if a room has got warm colors yes people will easily converse it, and it's inviting it's inviting if you if but, and, and this is psychological yes if you take your time now you know you'll realize because I've told you this yeah when you walk into a room that's painted green yes or blue. Yes. People don't talk much in that room. Okay. Whether it is Zibi who walks into that room. Interesting. You just find yourself like more quiet. All right. You walk into the room that has got more yellow, earth colors, brown, you'll find yourself more jovial, talking and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it depends on the color. So I always prefer like yellow, other tones of brown because yeah. I love people to come and talk earth and talk. tone colors. Color. Yes. It's uh, earth, you know. So yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> deep, deep within. Yes. Let's talk about the chairs, your dining table, where you love to host. You're a host yeah. to the most. Yeah, though I always say we are our first guests, me and my daughters. Yes. I got the chairs from um, Gong Road. Okay. Yeah. The, the table, I got it from the person who made for me this chair. All right. So he made for me a whole dining set. I didn't like the chairs he made. They were not the way the drawing was. Yes. So I told him, take your chairs, give me this yellow <laughs> seat. <laughs> You're like, please. Stay with bad chairs. Yes, and I went to Gong Road and carried those six chairs okay. to complement my table. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think they, they've worked well. I think they blend with the curtain and uh, they do. Yeah, I, I like I like the. I think a lot of my wooden furniture have got that. Uh, uh, I don't know whether to call it dark mahogany. Yes. They like so that at least it blends in with the yellow. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It actually complements the yellow. Yeah. I like how. Your display of pictures is on that wall. <laughs> it's not your conventional kind of pictures. Uh, it has life in it. That, I was the youngest graduate, I think, that year in the whole of Kenya. Yeah. With a PhD. How and old were you? I was 30. 
My goodness. Yes. And you think that you are going to inspire so many young girls to yes. pursue education. Yeah, I hope so. Can you imagine at 30 you had your PhD? Yes. Yeah. How incredible is that? <laughs> what shocks you about you as a person? Uh, I'm no longer scared. Yeah. I think that scares me too that I'm no longer scared. <laughs> yeah. You go for it, girl. Yeah, because I always say what's the worst that can happen. The worst has already happened. Yes. The worst that can happen has already happened to me, so I don't know what else. And those are your children there? Yeah, those are my two beautiful girls there. They look almost the same year. They're five years apart. Yeah, those yeah. are beautiful. And actors. the one down there, she was, that time she was the youngest. Okay. Yeah, she was two years old. Lovely. Yes. Lovely. Yeah. Let's talk about um, your lighting. Um, yeah. It's different. <laughs> It's different. You know, it's it's interesting. Yeah, it's I interesting. just take them, you know. I'm just like, wow. Yeah. Then for the longest time, I just had these bulbs hanging. Yes. So around December, I said, oh, no. So I went to, to look for lighting. I said, God, these things are so expensive. Said, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So I decided, what are the other best, uh, most affordable alternatives? So yes. I, was, I was driving a long, long road. Yes. I saw this mama who has got different types of them. And I said, yes. let me pick these ones. Yeah, they look really nice. And see how they blend. So My size, this is Sisal, right? Yeah, that's Sisal. Interesting. No, no, no. This is Reeds. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. she has Sisal. Yes. Uh, sea, seaweed. This is seaweed. Okay. And there's Reeds. Ah. And she has, but she has an array of them. Yes, yeah. They're unique. Yeah. <laughs> They're very unique. Thank very you. artistic. So, but I pick few pieces from here and there. Yes. Like I think that uh, is a fun I got from Ghana. Okay. Yes. Lovely. That I got from Ghana. Uh huh. Uh, this uh, this uh, Kikapu like thing I got from Rwanda. Okay. Uh, those shoes are uh, from Mugabe. I got from Zimbabwe. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Globetrotter. Uh, Globetrotter. Or yes. even that marimba I got from Zimbabwe. Okay. And Back Uganda memories. is in that drum. Nice. Yes. <laughs> I have you, East Africa. You have East Africa. Uh, Ethiopia here. and Sudan are the ones left now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's on your vision board, knowing you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I want to talk about the staircase. Yeah. Uh, the staircase is. um. I, I designed the staircase and the grills on my windows. Yes. From uh, names of me and my children. A for Angela. Uh huh. And Agatha. Uh huh. My name. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have got uh, Tyler. Okay. T. Lovely. Yes. Uh huh. And then uh, we have got uh, Nanetia. There's N. Nanetia. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. So uh, me and Angela, we all have Agatha. Agatha. Yes. yes. Then uh, we also have Z. So if you look at it, you can see this up, uh -huh. like this, the Z, Zawadi yeah. and Zippy. Yes. So, <laughs> so you engraved your names on. So we engraved our names. We drew them like that's not working. We kept engraving the letters, and they're like this I, looks fine. Yeah. And when we gave it to the the guy who was making them, he's in wrong guys. A yes. nice guy is called Peter. Okay. He was like, but which is this? I said, Peter. Just I have do grown it. it for you. You just do it. <laughs> and he did the first part. I was like, is this okay? I said, yeah, continue. I like the yeah. personal, how you personalize the <laughs> It's not just any. Yeah. So I don't know. So maybe somebody has seen it somewhere, but for me, it has got some meaning. Like the so Z, cool. the N. Yeah. And so then cool. we closed the gap so that it doesn't seem like the grill is too big. So yeah. we added some grills in between. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So curious to see the upstairs. You can go upstairs. Come, come, ah, okay, come. Okay, okay. Caribou. So to where we finally rest. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. You get to enjoy these views every day? Uh, almost every morning. Every morning? <laughs> you wake up to this? When it's not so cloudy or foggy, yeah. I can take a very good uh, sunset okay. and sunrise. Yeah. Like this sunset this other side, but yeah. sunrise I take from this window. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You come across as a person who is very outgoing. Do you miss yeah. being around people? Because I, I being come here, a, I, I like the word you say, I come across. Yes. Yes. But I am not so outgoing. You're not. Eh? 
I, or it depends on the definition of outgoing. Like when I need to go out, I'll yeah. go out like to events, like cookouts and stuff. Yeah. But clubbing, I don't club. Okay. Yes. You like being alone. I like being alone. Yeah. I like um, like maybe meeting people. Mm -hmm. I can go like you know I like like garden parties. Yeah. We we'll go and have a, like garden parties, tea parties, yeah. afternoon. You know, chatting with Nella, having a drink. But clubbing, I'm only like. That's not for you. Yeah, where well, like now till morning my ears just no, no that's yeah, not for me. That's not for you. I like <laughs> this bed. Yeah. It the craftsmanship is amazing. And yeah. I like the fact that you've mixed blue and brown. Yeah. I see the theme is still It's still br up. Yes. Awesome. Yes. I think I might even eventually change the white, you know. The white was because the the white is uh, because I don't like the colour of cement. Yes. So since the house is not completely said, I mean just put that undercoat. Nowadays yeah. we have got uh, undercoat in almost every color, so it's not so white. Yeah. It's a bit of white, yeah. but then eventually I'll put the colors that I want. A bit, yeah. not too brown, but a bit feel of brown because I like that warm. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any regrets in life? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god, yes. that is very honest. I have many regrets sometimes. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, in my earlier life, I had wanted more children. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but now I think I'll just accept that there'll just be two because where I am right now, yeah. hey, like if I get pregnant, I don't know what I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I mean, I had really wanted to have more children, like for in my in my big picture of life. Yeah. I wanted to have like four or five children. Yes. With a, a nice understanding providing <laughs> husband. <laughs> Not romantic, but, but oh, providing. The older you grow, provision <laughs> is a sense of romance. <laughs> Let's not lie to ourselves. I mean, I love flowers. I'm a hopeless romantic, but I love flowers and chocolates and all that. But I mean, uh, if that comes part of provision, I won't mind. Yeah, but uh, yeah. anyway. Yeah, so you have two children. At least you have children, which is... Yes, at least I have the two beautiful... Children. I've had three children, actually. So yeah. one passed on. Oh, Yes, sorry uh, that was that. my very first son. So okay. he passed on. I'm sorry. And then I had Angela, and now yeah. I have Tyler. Yes. And I could have, but now yes. life is... What but you is. can still have... I mean, you don't know where uh, life will take you, darling. No, let me tell you, being a single parent is so hard, doesn't yeah. it? When I see somebody has given birth and there's no man in her life, yeah, I feel it. Yeah, because it's not easy. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I agree well. with you. Yeah, and you're doing well. Yeah, do you, with all the accomplishments that you have, um, as a PhD holder, as a lecturer, award-winning filmmaker, um, how do you keep your ego in check? That one comes from my parents. Okay. Uh, my parents are very humble people, okay. you know, they are humble. Yeah. Uh, humble in the sense that them, they are blessed. I mean, my parents, my father's house is bigger than mine, like, yeah. I don't know, three times. Yeah. But they are very generous and humble, and our house was always open to many people. Okay. So for me, whether I have something or not, it does not change me because I grew up seeing my parents having it and helping people and our home was always open to people. Yes. So for me, the humility is something I grew up with. Yes. I still see it like, uh, Nella, if, do you know there are friends who reach home a bay? And I tell them, no, don't sleep in a hotel. How can you sleep in a hotel? At the I'm talking to end a home. I've called my father, go home. How sweet. They'll prepare a room for you. How sweet. Because I know in our home, anyone can go. That is and so you'll sweet. find the space. They'll, they'll take care of you, dinner, breakfast, and everything. Because we saw it from the time we were growing up. Yeah. So for me, it's, uh, it's not an issue of whether there's uh, this little fame yeah. or, uh, you know, yeah. like God has blessed me with this. It's that thing of, yeah. we're all human. We all yes. need something. Even me, I need something from others. Others need something from me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, sometimes also there are people who, you just call them and they just, they just, they just call to pray for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's talk about your film. I mean, yes. we cannot not talk because that's what's hot Otis right now. Janama. Hey, <laughs> Short 
set in Homer Bay yes. in Rusinga Island. Yes. It is set in the 1990s. Uh -huh. I'm very passionate about that story, yes. Tis Jana, because I yeah. wrote that story 20 years ago. Okay. And it took me time to do it because I knew the kind of story we wanted to create. It today. is. It's a beautiful film. We have Nick Watch, Masese Sara, yes. act as our main actor. Then we have got uh, Winyo, yes. Okelo Max, and yes. Idia Chim who have done for us scores in the movie. Okay. We went all out. We were in Rosinga for like uh, two weeks, and yes. it's something that took us time. And it's a beautiful film. Yeah. I don't want you to miss it because, and also again, like most of my films, yeah. it's about women empowerment, but set in those other years, yes. 90s. For me, that message of the struggles women have had did not start today. Mm -hmm. And in the film, a woman is doing boat racing, which is breaking boundaries in Luo customs. Mm -hmm. Women are not supposed to boat race. Mm -hmm. We even filming that scene, the community told us, no, we, these women cannot boat race. Because mm -hmm. I mean, there are a lot of things associated with women being in the water. Mm -hmm. But we explained to them, they understood us. And, uh, and here we are with the best film I... done in the Luo with English subtitles. That is awesome. Yes. Yeah. There's something about you that you always want to, to, to go against the grain. <laughs> <laughs> and just doing the film in the Luo yeah. is different. Yeah, doing the film in the Luo is different. Yeah. Going against the grain, uh, I, I want to look at it differently. It's, uh, for me, it's about telling those stories that everyone is so scared about telling. Yes. Because these are true stories. Yes. These are true stories of women who made it, women who conquered. Yeah. You know, stories like Wangu wa Make, wa Makeri, Mekatali wa Menza. Yeah. I believe there were many more women, but only these few were told. Yeah. Because people never, it's the men who were telling stories. So they yeah. could not tell stories yeah. of, chak, uh, of heroic women. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You are a lecturer. What have your students taught you? And what have your kids taught yeah. you? What my students and my kids have taught me is that, that humility. Because you see, I teach at the university, mm -hmm. and after four years, mm -hmm. you are working with those students yeah. of yours. Yeah. But the one thing they've also taught me is that life is changing so fast, mm -hmm. and I don't know it all. Okay. Sometimes my students and even my children surprise me, like, Mama, you've not seen that on YouTube. Yeah. And a student sends you that, and I'm like, Oh, I read it somewhere, Madam, what do you think? Then I, I just tell my students, I have not read it. Send me that link, I'll go read it. But yeah. right now, I think like this, but I'll read it. Because there's no need of pretending you know, you don't know everything. Yeah. And it's all, right now in this era, digital era, information is always coming. Talk to me about the kids' bedroom. I love it. I love the design <laughs> of the beds. 
Yeah, the kids, uh, they, they love pink and purple. Yeah. And uh, I think the other one wants teal, which I've not yet gotten for for curtains. Yes. We will get there. Yeah. But so I got for them that lavenderish kind of uh, walls. Yes. And then the curtain is purplish. Yeah. And their dad got them those beds, those okay. nice beds. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. To match with it. So they went and chose the beds and their dad got them those. So I mean, it's... Uh, it's it's their design yeah yeah it's yeah. their design is their okay. feel so because i mean for me it's that thing of like this is what they want yeah. it's their room even the bathroom the tiles they have to choose on their own it's yes interesting yes. You, you're a democratic man are you a democratic <laughs> man both it depends when we are shopping i'm not democratic <laughs> When we are telling stories, I'm democratic. Yeah. But when we are in the supermarket, what I tell my children, when you're going shopping, this is your budget. Each of you, the times I can tell them, you have only 200 shillings to buy whatever you want. Not, not house things, like if you want snacks. Or there are times when I can say each person, you have only 500. Yeah. So whatever they do, and they know how to budget with it, okay. within it. Okay. Sometimes they combine their money so that they can pick everything they want. But when it comes to snacks, I tell you that is what is in your budget. That's very it. clever. I like yeah. that idea. Yes. What's the future of film in, as we are wrapping up? Particularly in Kenya, I think there's a lot mm -hmm. coming up. Okay. Uh, and it's going to happen a lot through collaboration. Okay. Different companies are going to collaborate together. Yes. Younger people are coming in. And yes. so it means we are going to have many drastic thoughts and ideas. Mm -hmm. I am seeing a space where we are going to have a lot of African tales, yes. but with a sci-fi kind of feel. I like that. Because we've not seen that much. In we've not seen that much because I, I look at the kind of content that the kids give us, yeah. like as class assignments. Yeah. And I'm like, this is the direction. I think for me, that's the privilege of being a teacher. Yeah. Like you can see the mind of the young people through the assignments. You tell them, create a story, this. And that's what they're creating. They're having the African tales, but they're having the sci fi in it and uh, some horrors yes. <laughs> as usual. Interesting. But it's nice. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. She is enigmatic, a powerhouse in filmmaking and in theater. I've really enjoyed your space. <laughs> you are a huge inspiration to Thank me you. and to our viewers. Thank you for opening your space to us. Viewers out there, we have so much. We've learned so much from you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so, so much. We wish you the very best. And we want people to come and watch the film. Otis Janam. Otis Janam on the fourth on the 20th on the 20th at under diamond cinema so from 4 p.m red carpet and from 5 p.m we screen the film it's a 90 minute feature film you can also have a uh, oops zp from nuria online books to autograph that for you <laughs> thank you guys yeah so see you there otis janam is also on my movies africa so if you missed the premiere you can watch it on my movies africa and we hope that it will travel the world to many many other places Yes, thank you. She's an enigma, a powerhouse. We admire you. You've done so well for yourself. And thank we can you. only wish you the very best. Yes. And we'll be back in five years or Wait. two years. Whatever. You know. <laughs> two, five. Yes. yes. When we will be done, the grass will have grown. Yes. We uh, will have done the finishing. Exactly. Then you look back and you'll compare. Yeah. <laughs> As we're winding up, we're going upstairs to just enjoy the views. Thank you guys for watching. It's been amazing. I've been your host, Naila.